today I'm gonna do a dream tag. My very good friend Juan tagged me, and I think this tag is perfect before. And I think this tag is perfect for me. And I think this tag is perfect for me because I have a lot of weird dreams, a lot of awesome dreams, a lot of scary dreams, and um, yeah, every type of dream there is, I guess. First question, do you dream? Yes, I dream. I dream a lot. I dream while I sleep and I dream while I'm awake. <laughs> I dream all the time. Second question is, what did you dream about last night? I, actu I actually don't remember what I dreamt last night, but I remember that like the night before that. I had a dream about me and my family being on vacation and it was just a really weird feeling over the whole thing and it, it's a little personal actually. <laughs> Question number three, how many dreams do you usually remember? I think I could remember like 95% of my dreams if I wanted to because as soon as I wake up I remember the dream, pretty much all of it. And I have a time span of about maybe three minutes where I either need to tell someone about the dream or write it down. Problem is, I usually wake up from a dream at like 4 a.m. or 6 a.m. And if I decide to write down my dream at that time, I won't be able to go back to sleep. So if it's a really exciting dream, I guess I will write it down or tell someone about it. And uh, then I'll remember it and I won't get any more sleep that night. Question number four, do you have a dream journal? Yes, I do. Um, there's not a lot of dreams in it. Question number five, how often do you have nightmares? Uh, not as much anymore, but I used to have a lot when I was like a teen and a kid. I've had so many nightmares that I have tricks to wake up from them. Um, first thing I do is, if, if I'm like hunted by a monster, first thing I do, I tell the monster to stop and just wait. Uh, so I tell the monster to wait, and then I'm like, uh, I take my hands and just rub them into my eyes, and then I might wake up. And if I don't, I have to like shake my head from side to side, and it usually have me waking up with a massive headache. Question number six, do you lucid dream? And I think I kind of answered that in the last one. Yes, I do lucid dream. I'd say I lucid dream like once every month. I don't really have a trick to know I'm dreaming, but usually the dreams are so weird that I know that this has to be a dream. Or I get shot and I don't die, so then I go, okay, I didn't die, I guess I must be dreaming, because I can't die in my dreams. I walk around with like big open wounds, you can like see through my stomach or something, and I just walk on by and I just feel fabulous. So yes, I do lose a dream. It's not it's not as glamorous as people say. If I'm like trying to like change my appearance into Scarlett Johansson or change my clothes, I'll just end up looking like a troll and naked. Question number seven, do you dream in color? And I say yes I do, I do dream in color, but I can't be sure. When my old film teacher asked me how do you know you dream in color, I couldn't answer that because it's like a distant memory, but I'm, ass I'm assuming I dream in color. Question number eight, do you dream in first person? And sometimes I do, I usually do, but I have dreams where I can like see myself from above. And I have dreams where I'm another person. I have a lot of dreams where I'm a man. <laughs> but I think uh, I, might, I, I might actually dream 50-50 for like the film point of view and first person. Question number nine, do you have recurring dreams? I used to have this recurring dream of me walking through my dad's old house. I think I had the dream when I was like 13, but in the dream I'm just a kid. I'm walking downstairs from my room and then I'm walking into the kitchen. There's this hallway to the kitchen and in the wall a woman is like half cemented into the wall and she's just like all still but her eyes follow me when I walk by uh, and then I get into the kitchen and there's this same woman and she's like just stuffed on top of the cupboard and it's like this big so she's like stuffed into the cupboard like all all like deformed kind of since her bones have been broken from being stuffed into the Thing. She's also just lying there, but her eyes follow me, 
and then I go down into the basement and it's pitch black. I can just I can see anything. It's just pitch black black. And throughout this dream, I'm completely calm. But when I start walking into the basement, this huge amount of fear just overwhelms me. But I keep walking and then I wake up. People say all dreams have a meaning and I'm all for that. But I do think there's dreams which only means that you're a crazy person. <laughs> They mean you need to control yourself before you enroll yourself in like a mental institution. Do you have deja vu? Deja vu. Deja vu. Yes, I do. I have like this overwhelming feeling that this has happened before. And I have it when I dream as well. Sometimes it's just a deja vu. Deja vu. And sometimes I'm, I believe I've actually dreamt it before. Sometimes it's probably in the same dream, and sometimes it's probably a reoccurring dream. I can't really say what it, what a deja vu is. I think it's like people say it's when a dream accidentally makes a memory twice. So that was the dream tag. I'm very sorry I'm not making as many videos as I would have liked. I've been moving so I'm finally at my new place. It feels really good and it feels nice to finally be done. And I'm gonna tag a new friend of mine. She's also a filmmaker and she's really sweet. Her name is Selma Mo and she lives in the UK. You should definitely check out her channel right here. She's very smart and very sweet. I'm actually planning on going out of the country to film another documentary about two months from now. It's really crazy but I'm really excited. It's a project I've been dreaming about and planning since September last year. So I, since things are so crazy, I don't want to believe it just yet but we have the finances. All we need to do is get the ticket and get me on the plane and start filming. I can't snack on the camera. What the fuck? I can't talk about this.